She doesn't. She That's, woke up like this. Yes, you did. Yay! So we're just gonna apply a little glow cream. So this is strobe cream from MAC. It gives like a really pretty glow to the skin. So because your skin is dry skin type, you can handle it. If you're oily, don't do this. That's like a nice way to cheat if your foundation is like slightly on the heavier side and you're mm -hmm. not ready to switch until it's all gone. Put a little bit of the glow cream on. Um, underneath and it kind of mimics the look of natural skin so you can kind of cheat your way through looking natural mm -hmm. nobody has to know so yes. we're just going to apply a little bit more i like to kind of apply it all over the face if you're a combination skin type apply it just in the cheeks mm. and if you're oily mm. just don't do it because <laughs> you're going to have your own glow in 15 minutes <laughs> <laughs> yeah so same thing we're going to use that same mac pro long wear concealer we're going to use it underneath your eyes and on top as a primer so this stuff stays like really good. This is the stuff that you can cry through and everything. Absolutely. Okay. And awesome. I love that as a primer because it has a tint to it. A lot of primers don't have any color at all. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you doesn't like you have naturally like pinky eyelids, which is normal. You see like capillaries and veins. Um, it won't cover that because they're clear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, this helps a lot because it has a tint to it. I should say pretty decent coverage. Yeah. And you can apply this with your finger if you want to. Good. And so you don't need to um, use a different eye primer than you can use your concealer. Mm -hmm. Not every concealer, but this particular one. That's okay. amazing. Good to know. So I have two different products. Same thing. We're going to start with cream eyeshadow. This is a Bobbi Brown one. It's called Golden Pink. So this one kind of looks like that. Very mm -hmm. pretty. And this one is called Moonlight. And it kind of looks a little bit more on the cool tone side. Which one mm -hmm. do you prefer? Hmm. I don't know. Which one did Allie get? She, she got one? something different. She got like a champagne colored one. Oh. I'll show you. This one. That's Ooh. pretty. I'll try the like pinkier one. I knew you were going to pick that I knew that too. <laughs> what is that one called? This is uh, Golden Pink by Bobbi Brown. It looks so good. That's so That's pretty. That's like a favorite. Oh. I'll take it all the way to the inside corner. And I like to rub it all over the lid. And you don't even have to be precise about it. You literally just... Throw it on. on. Mm -hmm. Your eyes look like disco balls. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's just what you wanted, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Amazing. All right, open for me. Yeah, perfect. Yay. Nice and glowy. I'm going to do the same thing, go in with a little bit of bronzer and just take it right in through the crease. Cool. So go on a tapered, like, crease brush. <laughs> All right, so you want to start on the outside corner. That's where you want the most color. And do a little circular motions and work your way in and the color should gradiate so wherever you pop your brush down that's where you get the most pigment wow just that's gives really cool. you go all through the socket open for me it just gives you really nice definition yeah nothing oh, too okay. crazy all right so we're going to do the same thing we're going to add a little bit of eyeliner okay and you can skip this step you don't have to wear eyeliner if you don't i would just do the tight lining but i think that this gives you a really nice finished look so i'm going to start right here and pencils, I think, are a little bit easier to use because they are a little bit more forgiving than liquid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that if you struggle with eyeliner, picking a pencil to start is usually the easiest way. And she's getting the dark brown eyeliner too, right? She is. Because she's got super green eyes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So I'm picking that like reddish color for both of you guys. And then just taking it literally and blending it in. Just tapping my finger over top of the open screen. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, so mm -hmm. That looks so easy. Too. It is. It's yeah. super creamy. This is color 60 M60 from Makeup Forever, and it literally just glides on. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have you open for me, look down, and look this way. This way and down. Good, you're doing good. I know that's like the weirdest thing like ever. That was it's awesome. so weird. Well, that was it makes such a great. difference, right? Yeah. And it's it, crazy what a difference it makes. Hey, do you okay. remember? Um, once that somebody taught me that you could put white on your bottom lid Absolutely. and then it would make what? your eyes look giant. Yes, Crazy. it does. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Because I hate when you go to the store and it's like mascara is like $35 yep. and you're like, do I really need that? 
<laughs> no, but you don't need it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. No. Especially if you're going to run in it, just yeah. get the cheap stuff and then just make sure you wash it off. Yeah. I don't think that there's a huge difference in mascara unless you put a ton on every single day. And you go through it pretty quickly, right? Because you're not supposed to keep it too mm -mm. long. You need to right. throw it out after three months. And don't pump your mascara. So a lot of people get it, and I can do this once I don't, but to do this, thinking they're getting more product, all right. you're doing is shoving air on the tube and you're drying it out. So oh. twist oh it if you want more product. Oh. And go like that and then pull it, because that gets more product than jamming it in there. I do everything I wrong. Do everything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit underneath her eyes a little bit of uh, this smudgy shadow stick. This is amethyst. So this is actually like a plum tone. <laughs> like up just a little bit, chin a little bit this way. So I'm gonna run it under here. So this is just like a really beautiful, look how pretty. And oh that's my just gonna gosh. open up the eye really nicely. That's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I love that. So you could use this one all over your lid too. So I kind of just wanted to show some variation in color. Who's that by? Laura Mercier, your girl. Yeah. <laughs> is that hard to put on yourself or? No, it's so easy. easy. Literally. Yeah. All you do is, what did I do with that one? Oh, this one here. So if you just twist it up, it comes in like this cream stick. Mm. Literally take it, rub it all over, no rhyme or reason. Let it sit for like one second, take it and blend. Wow. And look how beautiful. Oh, that's a pretty color. And completely nice. waterproof. So this is the one I used on her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's that one I put underneath. So they're really nice together. Yeah. And there's that liner, so see? That mm -hmm. is not coming Literally off. Literally not going anywhere. Oh, so these crazy. two products are great. Wow. So if you rub your eyes, if you touch your face a lot, those are what you want. Mm -hmm. So we'll do a little foundation. So I'm using the same brand, so the Smashbox Studio Skin. 15-hour mm -hmm. wear hydrating foundation. It's like a long name. I don't know why they have it so long. <laughs> but And this is in color for you. I used 2.1 on you, and I'm using 1.2 on you. 1.2. Yes. So she's a whole shade lighter than me? One little step down. Oh yeah. my. And I did you more neutral because you are more neutral and she, believe it or not, is more on like the slight like golden side. Yeah. Where golden. her face has more like pinky overtone. Usually. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, she's going to kill me for telling you this, but <laughs> uh, my mom yelled at her because she was um, doing her makeup a lot and like she thought that all of the red tones like from like, you know, just normal redness she could combat with green which is like what they tell you yes. but instead of like getting like a normal makeup green she went into the party store and she bought monster green makeup what? and she was using this <laughs> and my mom yelled at her so much victoria yes. oh my gosh <laughs> did she look like the green giant man dude she looked like okay so she came and my mom was like you look like a ghoul <laughs> which is <laughs> no. I can see Connie saying that. Yeah, that matches you so nice. Yeah, so yeah. she's a little bit dehydrated. That's what I noticed. <gasps> no. Like in terms of water consumption? No, just oh. her skin because it's been cold. My skin. Uh -oh. Yeah, okay. so. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing at me. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it can be both depending on like, but if you drink a lot of I water. I drink a lot of water. Yeah, so yeah. you should be fine. Yeah, that's And I, I use moisturizer, but my skin's still dry. You know what yeah. it is? You can use moisturizer, but because there's so much built up of dead skin from like mm -hmm. windburn, being outside and running and all that, you have like dead skin sitting on top, so the moisture can't get in. Oh. So you need to exfoliate first. I exfoliate. I try and you do can that do that too, with sugar. Just right, not white sugar, but like turbinado sugar from Wegmans, yeah. the brown. Oh. Mix in with your face wash and do it every single day. I should do that. Your skin will be like a baby. Those We're gonna tender. cover up our little friend. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I this that. is the Makeup Forever Full Cover. So it's like a full coverage concealer that's also waterproof. So anytime you have a blemish or if you have any discoloration or any scar that you want to cover up, you take just like a tiny little dollop on a brush. And I'm mm -hmm. just going to have you turn just a little bit this way. And you literally take it and you just pat. That's like the smallest amount of makeup. That's like all I've you need. Seen. Yeah. And I'll show you how this little guy, our, our friend on the side, how he'll disappear. We take it. I'm gonna do a little bit under here too, because everyone is naturally pretty red around the nose. Yeah, yeah. You just take that. Any area that you just want to neutralize. I love this product for if you don't want to wear a foundation, you cover up your a blemish, a little redness around the nose, and let your skin go in a little cream blush. You're Good done. to go. Mm -hmm. So I guess now we can do a little bit of concealer. Same thing we use on the upside, but I want to do a little eye cream first. This is the same Mac Lightful C eye cream. Cool. So is this eye cream like you'd put on before you go to bed too? Mm -hmm. Yep, mm. same thing. And you don't have to. If you are dry, sometimes you do want something slightly more emollient before you go to sleep, but it's totally your preference. 
I'm just taking the concealer and I'm just packing it on just underneath the eye with my finger. Mm -hmm. And just putting a little bit inside the corner of the nose where she said she gets red. Mm -hmm. And a little bit. I may basically do it in a V. Because that's how you get the most brightness underneath the eye. Nice. And then the next step is just to add a little bronze. Woo! Yes. So I'm going to be really light-handed with this. <laughs> just because so fair. you are fair. <laughs> What's nice though is your freckles play like a really nice optical illusion. It makes you look tanner than you are. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's perfect. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little bit, a little bit here throughout the cheek. Uh, my Pretty freckles nice. really come out when... In the summer? When, yeah. Get lots of freckles. It's pretty. You know what's nice about freckles? You can't tell if it's a blemish or a freckle. They all yeah. just kind of blend in. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, wow. Sometimes I'll take my eyeliner and go over it. There you, know, you like, go. I have freckle. a freckle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to use the same technique for her, too. So you do a little bit on the forehead, a little bit on the cheek, a little bit underneath and on the jaw. Yeah. So that three and E shape. If you stick with yeah. that, you'll be, you'll be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The only thing I'm going to change is just the blush. She could get away with the one I use on you, but it's bright. Yeah. And I think this more subtle one, the peach, will look really pretty with your eyes. Yes. Yay. So we'll try that one. Cool. Peachy. So I'm going to take it. What is the name of that one? It's called, this one's called Fresh Melon. Fresh Melon. Fresh. I feel like that's Aww. such a happy name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy. So you just take it and you pop it right on the apples of the cheeks. And this is nice because you can literally add this throughout the day. So you don't, like, if it starts wearing away, you literally just pack it on. Nice. And it looks so fresh and pretty. Amazing. Yay. So it just gives like a really pretty glow. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. That I is so it. fresh. Yeah. All right. So we're going to use a little lip liner. This is going to be the same one. I just sharpened it. We're going to use Pillow Talk on you too. And we're just going to use oh. that Pot Rouge. Pillow this, talk. honestly, everyone can use it. Nice. Everyone. Good. I like it. Yeah. And it's waterproof and it doesn't uh, travel in lines. Nice. That's good. Just the same. Can do you wear a lot of lip liner? Don't talk. You can't talk. <laughs> no, I don't. No. Do you? It's like hard for me to remember to put on, but I know mm -hmm. it's important. Yeah. If you're going for a run, try to get in the habit of it, just because yeah. it will make whatever's on your lips stay on a little bit longer. That's awesome. No. Mm -hmm. So if you're concerned about the longevity of the product, especially if like you're sweating and you're wiping away a lot, the lip liner will help like anchor the lipstick. So we're gonna pop this guy right over top. The blush. Go ah. Ah. Perfect. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very natural. Oh, I yeah. love that one. So nice. pretty. Yeah, yes. it looks beautiful. Brow yeah. time! How does? Awesome. Oh, I'm done though. I think we're going to use this guy because your brows are a little bit darker. So this is the <laughs> steel one. Steel. Steel. Yes. Cool. And this is nice waterproof guy. All right, so same thing. Just gonna go under it and I'm gonna mimic like hair strokes. I'm gonna place it down and draw little tiny lines. And then I'm gonna draw the line on the bottom because your hairs are a little bit further apart than hers. Really? They're balding eyebrows. No! <laughs> <laughs> They're just a little like bit more space. It because I um, like tear out my eyebrows sometimes. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You still have a lot left. I know, thank God. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. Oh my gosh, I love yeah. that. We yeah. need all these markers, Hannah. They're I the know. best thing yeah. ever. What if you just like use Crayola? Well, I mean, the results <laughs> might be different. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Hey, oh. Look at Hannah! Okay, now you can do the thing where it goes in and out, but you don't do anything. <laughs> oh my gosh, Alicia, thank you so much! Yeah, I feel like we look so beautiful now we for do. our races and running and everything. It's gonna make a big difference. It's gonna make a huge difference yeah. I think in how we perform and how we feel and I don't care if you don't like makeup because everybody should like makeup. Well not everybody whatever. Almost everybody. I love it's makeup. Fun. <laughs> it's fun. You it, get to have a little fun. Yes yeah. and I just want to look my best on race day. Race day should be treated like a wedding. Yes, Agreed. definitely. It's, it's a your big, big day. day. Yeah. A big you prepare day. for it. You've invested some money in it, probably. Like, you should feel and look your best. I, I agree. And yeah. you look amazed. You look amazed. Oh! Uh, <laughs> and you look amazed. Yes. I wish I had your skills, for sure. Well, now you do. I yeah. feel like you can do it. I'm going to do it myself, and then we're going to send pictures, and Please. you're going to critique us. Yes. Awesome. Tag me in them. Yes. yes. <laughs> awesome. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Press your nose oh. hard.
What? It'll stop your tears. That really did. Your nose hard. It'll stop your tears. Uh -huh. You have so many tears. 